Can you DJ with Spotify? Well, the answer is not anymore. As of recently, Algorithm has announced that Spotify has pulled the support from their DJ app. Now, this was one of the final apps that still could um, integrate with Spotify, which essentially allows you access to all of their catalog of music. Why do you think they did this? Well, me personally, I can imagine Spotify has been having legal issues ever since it first started. Artists sued Spotify because of the very minimal amount of compensation that they would receive. Uh, they just would not uh, get compensated for their art. They were getting thousands and thousands of views, but only getting dollars uh, for the money. Many bands actually pulled their music from the Spotify platform. However, now, you know, almost 10 years after Spotify has, has been a very popular platform, you cannot afford not to have your music on there. Kanye and Jay-Z and a whole lot of artists got together to try and start an alternative one a little while ago, and that also failed miserably. So what can we do? What can we do if we want a streaming service uh, to integrate with our DJ equipment? Well, what Algorithm has done is they've made it very easy to transition to Tidal, uh, which is another music streaming app, and also SoundCloud Plus, I believe it's called, or the premium version of SoundCloud. So what do you think? I think, you know, Will SoundCloud become the new DJing software? A lot of producers uh, produce prominently on SoundCloud, and there is a lot of music on SoundCloud that you can't get on Spotify. That does, however, work both ways. So why would it be beneficial for Spotify to change their opinion on this? Well, they are the most popular streaming service, and Imagine if you could do a set without having to bring any music. Now, it is a little bit ridiculous. Obviously, we'd want it back up. And think about that progression from carrying a crate full of vinyls to rocking up anywhere with no music and still being able to, have, to, to conduct a set. Uh, obviously, you need internet for that to happen. Uh, so this is, this is my appeal. Do you think we can get Spotify to create a DJ application. The way I envision this is working with Serato or Recordbox and coming up with a way that they could charge for their service to better compensate artists. Um, artists could maybe have the ability or the choice if they wanted to have their music be allowed to be played uh, in front of an audience. Imagine how cool that would be if we had a native Spotify DJ app. I could just be a dreamer, this might never happen, but there's so many other people that want this. So surely if those people, if we can all get together, uh, we can make this difference and could take a little while, but let's get Spotify DJ. So we'll start, we're going to try and start a bit of a movement. Let's get a hashtag, hashtag Spotify DJ going. I'm going to keep talking about this in different ways, shapes and forms and discuss it. Talk to, talk to other DJs, see if maybe it is something that just excites me. Uh, but especially in this time that we're in, we're living in an interesting time where now uh, a lot of DJs are out of work because a lot of events and venue places have, have closed. So give, give the people the ability to practice because we, it's a bit hard to infringe copyright while we are all at home and not playing to an audience.
Now, there is streaming and we do get into that uh, topic a lot in other videos uh, because that seems to be trending a lot at the moment. DJs are going online and it is one way for, for DJs to raise revenue. Now, a lot of DJs will have other jobs on the side. Uh, a lot of musically talented people will work a day job as well. Uh, so let's hope that you're okay, you're safe, you're still bringing in income. And if you're not, that you're in a country where your government is going to help you out. Let's band together and let's get Spotify to make a DJ app. Hashtag Spotify. Here.